So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for weeks. And if you guys don't know, we usually look at the challenges for the week and then we go for Eververse to see what she's selling as well. So that way, if you're not in front of your screen, then you can at least get an idea of what you're going to be doing when you get home. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Just I really just do this just to be helpful because I know when I'm away from my screen, I would at least want to know what's up. So that way, when I get home, I have like an idea of what I'm doing when I get home. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that. Uh, Eternal Queen's Guard. Complete a flawless run in any Defiant play, uh, Battlegrounds playlist location. Not hard, just don't die, forehead. Uh, Defiant Focus. Decode or focus Defiant Ingrams at the War Table during Season of Defiance. Not hard at all. Uh, specifically, if you're just playing the game, you're going to get Defiant Ingrams a lot. Uh, to the point where, like, I saved, like, a, about a week's worth and I had, like, 40 to, like, 50-something. So, again, not hard, just... That, that it does mean you have to play the game, obviously. Uh, Fleeting Glory and complete Crucible matches in competitive playlists. Earn bonus progress for wins. This one is going to be annoying, but I'm going to personally be doing it because I want a better Rose or at least like a five out of five. So for me, I'm going to do this regardless. I'm going to hate it because I hate comp, but I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be, at least for me. But that being said, I do know people are probably going to laugh at that statement. Uh, favored Liberator, generate favors in seasonal activities. All members of your current fire team contrib contribute to overall progress. Uh, not hard at all, uh, especially if your fire team is also contributing to this. So that is really cool. Um, just uh, generate favors. I don't know what to tell you. High value hunter, defeat powerful combatants in Gambit, earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets. Uh, this one's not hard at all as well. It just means you have to play Gambit, which for me, I don't mind because I, I'm okay with playing Gambit. Uh, that being said, high value targets is not annoying. I think it's just the more powerful combatant. It's going to be really annoying considering Gambit is like the only game mode that like everything hits like a truck for some reason, which is funny. And then Grandmaster, complete any Nightfall Strike on Grandmaster, which if you guys don't know, Grandmasters are coming out, I think today actually. Well, let me see real quick. Yeah, so it's going to be Proving Grounds. Ah, that's going to be, that's going to be rough. That being said, I think that's going to be one of the more simpler raids or simpler uh, nightfalls because there's a bunch of them that I'm just like, I don't want to do this one. So this one's not going to be hard. I'm going to actually run uh, GMs like later today because my my friends want to run it, which is really good because I need to run anyways because I need I need material. So as for Eververse, we have Welded Brass. This is a really, really good shader because it has a really good purple glow. Let me actually switch out to a glow um let me switch out to another one as well if i could do that one and then i'll just switch to where are you where are you where are you actually oh here you are all right so let's actually go back because i need to show you the the glow because it's really really good so you guys, as you guys can see it's a really rich purple and obviously the reason why I wanted to have more glows is because the helmet actually had takes glows differently than almost every other type of glow. Uh, this one has like just like a very matte glow, if that makes any sense, instead of this where you can actually see the glow on the outer like of the outer like armor. You can see like a purple glow. This one doesn't do that, unfortunately. That's why I wanted at least two pieces. But yeah, this is a really, really good purple glow. If you're looking for that, we have Sprint, spring tide faint, which is, oof, Jesus Christ. This is a very, very, very loud shader. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be going for this shader just because it's very visually loud, but I don't think it's bad. I definitely think it's going to look cool if you like actually make it look cool. Um, I think at the end of the video, we'll, we'll try to make something uh, real quick for it. We have Archon Prime, which is the Fallen themed ornament for the uh, whatever this gun is called. I forget. Outbreak Perfected. I mean, it looks cool. Where am I grabbing it though? Because there's spikes here. So like, where am I grabbing? I think it's right here, actually. Well, it looks cool. Like, at least it looks cool. Let me just say that. Okay, wild. For the stuff at the bottom, we have Omnipotentia. Omnipotentia, I think it says. Uh, it's basically just speakers, which is really cool. We have the ornaments for all of the classes for the arms, which is really, really cool. 
uh Seder, I think it's I think that's how you say that. It's really, really cool. We're not gonna look at the other classes. I'll probably have them up right here, but yeah. Make sure you get them because the Titans are getting the one for the Synthoseps, specifically the augmented auspice. And for the warlocks, you guys are getting the you guys are getting the Sunbracer, specifically the Okaiser Draconum ornament, which looks really cool. Unfortunately, the blue. I did review all of the exotics for the classes. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll have them up right here. Um, just pick whichever one you want to see, because I not only look go through how it shaders, how it looks, but we also make an armor set around all of them. So if you guys are interested, definitely check that video out. For the other ornament, we got like three ornaments, which is really, really cool. We got a trust ornament. I actually did not have this one. To be fair, I didn't have this one because the uh, snake, if I remember correctly, doesn't change color or something. Something from this ornament doesn't change color, uh, but it's still cool. I definitely would recommend it. We have clean lines shell, which is um, whatever. We have two emotes. And for the shaders at the bottom, we have meditator, which is a pretty cool pink. The off color. Ooh, I didn't know the off color was that color, but it looks pretty cool. We have atmospheric glow which is a really good green this is like one of the better greens in the game that being said the bright green does kind of like throw me off a bit but if you can find an armor set that has like none of that green armor or the bright green armor then it's gonna look super dope trust me and then vibrant beach man the shader always comes like fucking weekly i hate it and then uh flavored core which is also not a good shader in my opinion yellow and green is just not not it for me so let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely excited for some of the stuff that we got this season or this week. Specifically, the Springtide Faint is going to be pretty cool to use. Um, these the ornaments for sure are something that I'm really excited for because they're really, really cool. I uh, cannot wait to make some cool shit with this one. Again, I have made videos for all of the uh, exotic ornaments that we got this season. Um, let me see real quick. I'm going to see if I can use that new shader. Man, that shit is that shit is bright. Um, me. This is literally just my my girl falcon look with maybe something else in there, but this one. And then go for a white. Tell me I can switch out for probably this one. Not this one. Yeah. Um, off color is gold, which is interesting. I'm definitely gonna review this shader so that way you guys can check it out. Um, I probably should work on that video soon then because I don't know if they're going to resell this shader. I'm uh, Ooh, that is a good off color right there. It's like, that's lavender for sure. It's interesting. Definitely interesting. It's not a bad shader. There's, mm, if you don't like visually loud shaders, then this is going to be a bad shader for you. I like it. I just never use visually loud shaders just because, um, it's too much happening in the eyes which is why i say it's visually loud i usually like to go for like something a little bit darker like this is just it's fine for me even this one is super dope like i don't know it's hard to explain but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below you guys should check out the ada video that i will be posting um uh, probably two hours after this one i usually like to do a two hour but uh buff so that way you guys can check out the video and then do your own thing and then come back to watch the, the, the next video so Ada one's coming, gonna be coming up, and you get that you. Ada one's gonna be coming up, and you guys definitely should check that video out because Ada one has some really dope shit. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe, and I'll see you guys later.